Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about the cell cycle. The cell cycle is composed of interphase and the M phase. Interphase has the growth phase 1, synthesis, and growth phase 2. M phase is mitosis, where the cell splits into two daughter cells. Now, in order for the cell to divide, it must replicate its entire genome without making mistakes. In order to ensure that there are no mistakes, there are checkpoints along the cycle that may halt and or cause the cell to undergo apoptosis. Cyclin-dependent kinases, or CDKs, are always expressed in the cell. Cyclins are proteins that are expressed only during certain phases of the cell cycle. When cyclin concentrations rise, it binds to CDK, forming a cyclin-CDK complex, which can then phosphorylate retinoblastoma. When retinoblastoma gets phosphorylated, it loses the transcription factor, allowing the cell to proceed into DNA synthesis phase. P53 is the main tumor suppressor gene. If there is damage to the DNA, P53 will induce P21, which will inhibit CDK. With CDK inhibited, retinoblastoma will not be phosphorylated, and the transcription factors will not bind to the DNA to progress into the S phase. Therefore, P53 halts progression into the S phase when the DNA is damaged. A mutation in the P53 can result in unregulated cell division. Lefraumeni syndrome is a disease in which mutated P53 is the cause of. Cancer is prone to develop in individuals with this disease. Growth factors also mediate entry into the S phase. Growth factors such as insulin, PDGF, EPO, and EGF bind tyrosine kinase that will result in a downstream effect of transitioning into the S phase. Depending on the type of cell, it may remain in a phase called G0 permanently where the cell never divides. Cells such as neurons, skeletal, and cardiac muscle, and red blood cells are examples of this. Some cells may be in the G0 but leave into the G1 when signaled to. Hepatocytes, lymphocytes, PCT, and periosteal cells may enter G1 from G0. These cells are referred to as quiescent. Finally, cells that rapidly divide never enter G0 phase. These types of cells are most affected by chemotherapy and are cells such as bone marrow, gut epithelium, skin, hair follicles, and germ cells. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.